Hey, what's up guys, Jeremy here. In this video, we will learn how to create a light signal with the different objects we recolored in the last video. Let's get started. So here we have the three lights we recolored in the last video. So we have one light green, one light red, and one light off or kind of dark gray. So we need to create a program that would switch from one color to the other. So first of all, let's place them all back one on top of the other. So here I will open light green, select reset position, and then I will do the same here for the dark colored one, or I can just enter zero here. Perfect, so now they are all on top of one another. So I will, I will need to add three programs. So let's call the first one light green. So for light green, what we need to do is add instruction, simulate event instruction. We need to show the light green, click OK, and we need to hide both of the other lights. So simulation event instruction, hide, hide the red one, control C and then control V, right click, modify, and hide the off one. So if I select this one here, just the green one is visible, the other two are hidden. Then control C and then control V that twice, so copy and paste. Here it will be light red and here light off. Cool. So here I need to modify and select light red and here I need to put the light off at off in any cases and I need to put the green one at off in this case here and for the light off it's we need to show the off one and we need to hide uh, the green and the red one just like that so if we run light red the light is red if we run light off the light is off like that here so that's great so what we can do here is create a frame call it light make sure that it's at zero 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 so right click and then reset or bring everything at zero here take all of those here change support light so that they are part of the light frame so i can if i move the light frame here anywhere i can everything will still be one on top of the other so i can have a bit more flexibility in terms of where i place my light frame i will reset this position here i will pick up all of this Control c and then i will go to my pick and scan and i will Control v this here so now you see the light appeared directly on the uh, station origin. So I can just move that here, let's say. I have my green, light green, light red, light off. As you can see, they have a small exclamation mark uh, surrounding them. So if I select them all, right click, robot. Now they have no robot linked because I just copied and pasted them from another station. So in this case here, it doesn't matter much because it's just a change of color but I will link it to the main robot. And here, unfortunately, I need to right click and then reselect uh, the light green here and light uh, off because I copied it from one station to the other. Otherwise, generally I would have built that directly in the right station to not have to do redo it again. But here it was easier for me to kind of build it in another station and bring it here to kind of keep, keep things uh, separated uh, at the beginning. So I will simply go ahead here modify and then red just relink everything in this case here i would generally have that in a template and i would do the copy and paste from the template because it's still e easier and faster to just relink uh, all of that like this then kind of doing it from scratch so like this and then the light off is the last one as you can see it only took a few seconds when you know what you want to do exactly and if you're used to to your templates uh, it's even faster so like i said i'm recommending you to build some templates so now like red 
light off, light green. Perfect. So what we want to do now is launch this green light, uh, let's say, make it a green light or a red light, in fact, when we are in front of the scanner for short amount of time, then make it a red light and then put it back to its off position. So what we can do is create a main program, call it, oops, I pressed F1 instead of pressing F2. By the way, F1 brings you to the online documentation directly. So I will call it light signal. And in light signal, I will have for add instruction prompt call. It will be, first of all, I want it to be light lighted red first, followed by a light green, followed by a light off, like that here. Click OK. Now I need to add some delays in between those. So I, do, I want to have the red light activated for a certain amount of time. In this case, I will have the red light activated for as long as the scan occurs. So we'll go for three seconds. I just copied here uh, my pause three seconds and paste it here. Here I could have just added a pause like that. Modify will go for, I don't know, five seconds or uh, yeah, five seconds will be it. It doesn't matter. We'll change it if needed. And then we'll bring back the light to its off position. So if we launch that here, it will make the light red, wait three seconds, make the light green, wait five seconds, and then put back the light at its off state. So that's great. Uh, then we need to add in the init, we need to make sure that the light is off when we initialize everything. So just after uh, go home here, open gripper, replace object, we could have here just after init uh, conveyor position, we can add here a simple program called to light off because in case it's like this we want to initialize it and make it a uh, turn off the light i can hide the frame just underneath it so that's great now i need to call the light signal at the right spot so when i do the scan here as soon as i move to move j here i can right click add instruction here program call and select my light signal Click OK and then OK. If I do that, I will have a small issue. So if I run the program, so main program here. Here I'm waiting for all the signals to take place before actually waiting for the three seconds and then moving out. So that's not what we want. Here we would like to have it as a thread because we want that to work in parallel in this case here. So right click, uh, modify, and then in this case, start thread, click OK. And now we can start back with the main program. So as you see, this little light signal was kind of a, an example that uh, bring in a lot of the features I just showed you. So the pause, change color, hide and show, and the start threads are all built in this small example. It takes a very short amount of time to create, but if you don't know how to use all of those together, you won't kind of make it. So that's something I'm pretty sure you just kind of learned here. So that's great. It does exactly what we want. The only thing we need to do now with the station is kind of organize it a bit. Adding a few more folders would help. So I will add a folder called light here. And in the light folder will be all the lights programs like that here so i can collapse that here i will add another folder for the gripper so here gripper so open and close gripper will be part of it like that and here let's say i can create another folder for the pick and place program so pick and place here and just get these four sub programs here and just like that, it's a bit more organized and a bit easier to follow along. And I can only just start my main program to get started here. We'll bring it, bring the speed of, uh, down a bit. So that's pretty much everything for this video and pretty much everything for this module. As usual, I still have a 
uh, an example for you or, or a bonus example for you in the next video. Uh, this always helps you kind of use all the features that we used since the beginning and uh, kind of improve your knowledge with it. Um, apart from that, like I said, I showed you everything I had to show you for this module. In the next module, we will attack more advanced simulation features in RoboDK. So this one, I believe, is very important. They are all important, uh, you will say. Uh, but yeah, the next one will kind of bring you more tools. We'll bring more tools to the table, to the table on how to uh, leverage all the features that you can find inside RoboDK. Hope to see you there. Have a great day, guys.